नमस्कार माय नेम इज सुदशील घोष एंड आई एम टीचिंग यू टिंकर कैड ऑन यूट्यूब वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू डिजाइन अ फायर अलार्म फॉर डिजाइनिंग अ फायर अलार्म वी विल नीड द टेम्परेचर सेंसर ओके एंड बिकॉज इट्स एन अलार्म वी विल नीड अ साउंड एमिटिंग डिवाइस दैट इज हाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस ओके सो लेट एस गो अहेड एंड डिजाइन द फायर अलार्म सो वी विल गो इन टू क्रिएट हियर and then we'll click on circuits now as we click on circuits what happens here it uh, we are our working area opens up this is our working area these are all the components here we'll bring in the breadboard first of course as i told you we'll rotate the breadboard to 90 degrees so to manage space and again the arduino here rotate it to the better way okay so we are rotating this and there we have placed it and we have placed the breadboard like this good next we are going to bring in the temperature sensor so first of all we'll understand how the temperature sensor works okay so temperature okay so tmp so now we can see the temperature sensor here if we zoom in to the temperature sensor we'll see that it has got two three pins so one pin is power pin the second one is the v out pin and the third one is the ground pin okay so the temperature sensor has to be connected to the arduino board properly so before we see this connection we have to observe this very very carefully please see this very very carefully that it has got three pins it has got power it has got v out and it has got the ground pin now in case we want to connect this temperature sensor to the Arduino board. The temperature sensor, as per the manual, operates on a voltage of three volt around. Okay, so what we are going to do instead of taking the connection from the five volt pin, we are going to take the connection from the three volt pin. Okay, so in case we want to do that, here we are having the three volt pin. We take it from here, and we take it from here, and we will connect it to the this particular line. Okay. so the entire three volt pin is shared over this particular line all right next is we get the ground so we are going to connect the ground to this particular ac so what we have done here the ground pin is distributed over this line and the three volt pin is distributed over this line okay so they are disconnected from each other so there is no short circuit now we are going to connect the temperature sensor so how do i could connect the temperature sensor we have to rotate this and we cannot connect the temperature sensor here or here why because they are all connected internally so therefore there will be no flow of current if we connect it here so we are going to connect the temperature sensor here now as we can see here look this is the power pin the power pin will be connected to the power line so the power line is here so we just take one connection from here and take it here there one so power pin is connected to the power line the ground pin i can see the ground pin will be connected to the ground line so we can take one wire from here and connect it here all right now comes this v out pin this is what we call as a signal pin this gives out the signal so the this particular pin this is the a0 pin so we'll just going to take from here a0 pin and we are going to take it here take it here we will have to connect it very carefully now please see how we connect and we are going to connect it here so you can see here the a0 pin is connected to the v out pin so we'll color it brown so that we can see it properly there you are the the power line is connected to this particular row we can see that and we are going to connect it we can color it red so that we can see it properly and of course the ground pin is connected to this particular row and we are going to color it black so that the connections are clear we can we can see that the connections are clear now and we have been able to do all the connections now all right so now let us see because we have made the connections we are now going to see how this temperature sensor works with the arduino all right so there you are this is the temperature sensor and we are going to see how it works with the arduino so we'll go into the coding part 
and we'll put everything into the trash there you go now first of all the first thing that we have to do we have to read some value from the sensor we'll create the value variable so let us do the variable creation and we'll make it temperature the temperature is the name of the variable we'll put this thing here okay now we are going to set what is the value of temperature right set temperature to something now this something will come from this particular signal so how do we get the signal we'll take it to input and you see it is saying read a temperature sensor on pin a0 so we are going to take this and we are going to put it here so it is already connected to a0 okay in case it was connected to a1 we can change this a0 to a1 or something like that we can do that very well okay that particular connection we can change okay fine so and also the temperature is being read in degree celsius you can also see that okay fine so once we have been able to set the value of temperature variable we are now going to print it out so printing is an output so we are going to print to serial monitor we are coming here and we are going to set the temp value here right so now we should be able to observe how this temperature sensor functions all right very nice so let us try to do the simulation we can start the simulation here and also because we are printing to the serial monitor we have to open the serial monitor here you can see this temperature value is being printed as 24 because it's here somewhere now if i move this particular point or dot up you know here on the left and right if you do that see the minimum value that the temperature sensor can read is minus 40 and the maximum value that this temperature sensor can read is 124 we can see that it is being printed on the screen right there okay minimum value is minus 40 and maximum value is 140 okay so we have been able to do that okay you can 124 that is what is being printed fine good so once we are able to read this value we should be able to redirect this value to the output so how do we do that we'll stop the simulation now okay so let us fold the coding area and because we need something to output the sound so we'll need a speaker so we'll just type speaker here we'll see the piezo speaker here there you are now what we have to do now is very carefully connect the speaker to the terminals okay so let us do that we'll rotate the speaker as we can see here we cannot connect the speaker like this we cannot connect the speaker like this because these are all internally connected this connection is wrong so what we have to do is connect the speaker here all right now the negative terminal of the speaker we should be connected to the ground so the ground as i told you earlier ground is connected from this particular on this particular row so we have to connect one pin from here and to there you are so this because this is the ground pin we are going to color it bracket color now what we need is a particular signal from one of the pins now the digital pins can only give output okay only the digital pins can give output and it can all they can also take inputs okay so you can see if you write the digital pins if you look at the digital pins they are meant for input as well as output if you look at the analog pins here it is written that analog input only so it is written as input only so the analog means cannot give outputs okay so what you have to do is we have to connect this particular positive terminal to one of the things where we can generate outputs other than on and off okay simple on so which are those area which are which are those pins which can give outputs other than on and off these are these you know tilde pins you can see these pwm pins they are known as pwm pins if they are pin number 11 pin number 10 9 you can also see 3 5 and 6 you know can I, having this tilde sign here so these tilde signs are called pwm pins pwm means pulse width modulation pin all right so now we are going to take one connection say for example from pin number 11 d11 here we connect come come here we come here and we are now going to connect to this particular area and because this is generating a signal as a sign signs of con convenience you know we'll make it brown in color all right fine no problem 
now therefore we are ready to generate sound from the speaker using the signal from the temperature sensor okay so for generating the sound we have to add the code also because it is output so it says play speaker on pin okay here you can see play speaker on pin so we can go for play speaker on pin the speaker as you can see is connected to pin number 11 so the speaker on pin number 11 okay and it should play certain tone so, okay so we can play the tone say 60 it is written here so let us see what happens if i play 60 let us start the simulation now okay if i so it is generating one particular sound whatever it is it is generating only one particular sound and we'll start the simulation again. So as you can see, it is generating only particular sound. Whatever be the temperature, it is generating only one particular sound. So whatever what we, what we do here is we go into the variable and instead of tone 60, we'll put temp. So what happened now? What will happen now? It will generate a different sound for each of the temperatures okay so let us try to generate a sound different for each of the temperatures so let us start the simulation now if i do that you can see you can see that we are able to generate different sounds for different temperatures so if it if the speaker plays a higher pitch it means the fire alarm is very very active if the speaker is playing a lower pitch it means the fire rhythm is lowly active or rather the fire intensity is low okay so i hope you have understood whatever i have explained if you are a new person to this channel, please like, share and subscribe. If you are a returning visitor to this channel, please share the link of this particular, particular video with other people so that they can also learn. So in this exercise, we have been able to generate a fire alarm and we are stopping the video recording now.